Okay, then we move on to the ovens. So ovens are usually used for drying glassware. They are basically uh, two ovens that you might encounter in your lab. One is the general glass drying oven. The second one is uh, hot air oven. Okay, hot air blowing oven or hot air oven. So these are two types of general purpose drying ovens. Uh, then we move on to another type of uh, dr glass drying oven, which is known as uh, uh, vacuum oven. So vacuum oven is basically used for drying of glassware, uh, which will further be used for dealing air sensitive compounds. Then we move on to balances. There are two the, the two places that uh, balances, which are usually used for the general purpose in the uh, chemistry lab and for smaller work we need four place uh, balances or analytical balances then we have got uh, uh, vacuum pumps this vacuum pump is extremely important in running this rotary as well as the uh, film hood and uh, slink line as well so now we have discussed in our previous lectures as well. Next is the inert gas. So usually the gases which are used for dealing air sensitive compounds are nitrogen and argon. These cylinders are connected to the fume hood and through that it is connected to the Schlenk line. Uh, then we got the solvent still. There are the different types of solvent stills with different uh, neck sizes and lengths, okay, and uh, different types of condensers and vacuum jackets, etc. Uh, this here is the complete assemblage of drying of, uh, uh, drying of solvent for wire distillation, okay. Uh, then uh, we move on to routine glassware and personal equipment, which is usually used by a research student. Different types of glassware are here, and there you will see uh, magnetic stirrers and spatulas, thermometer of different ranges, uh, pasture pipettes, uh, vials, etc. Okay, uh, those are the list of the general. Uh, purpose uh, equipment used by resistance. Then we have got this uh, double manifold slant line, as I have already described this to you. Uh, here is the cross section of the, uh, these are equipped these tabs. These are the two way tabs, two way double oblique tab. Here is the cross section of this. If they are connected to the upper barrel, which is inert gas barrel, and the lower barrel, which is Vacuum barrel, okay, so if you, if you want to connect your, your glass will be somewhere here down here connected to this thing and this thing if it is connected by one way, it can be connected to the inert gas if you want to uh, fill it with the nitrogen or argon, okay, and if you when you close it, it will be closed and then if you want to connect it with the vacuum, then you will need to connect this thing with the vacuum barrel, you will turn this to the upside down and it will be uh, connected to the vacuum barrel like this thing okay and then we have got barrel so this barrel uh, sorry this is bubbler and this bubbler is used for maintenance of pressure from the cylinder inside uh, into the, the schlenk line uh, here is a communal schlenk line with the uh, provided only with the provision of inert gases. And there is a double manifold, which is provided. Two new additions have been made here. These are the solvent taps and a rotary pump, which is used for producing vacuum. So here is the solvent taps. Usually in these traps, solvents are trapped inside these. These are the glass equipment and usually filled with the liquid nitrogen for trapping organic solvents. Next, we move on to the filtering equipment. These are general purpose filtration assemblies which are used for dealing air sensitive compounds. These are known as Frit filters. Okay, They're this one. This is generally porosity uh, tree center. This is usually called Frit. There's this commonly this whole assemblage is known as Frit filter. Okay, then we move on to the next uh, purification and drying of solvent. There are basically four uh, reasons why we need solvent inside an inorganic or organic chemistry lab. The first one is uh, solvents, which are used for the manipulation of air sensitive compounds like organometallic compounds. Solvents, very pure and dry, used for regarding UV and other spectroscopic uh, data. Uh, solvents used for chromatographic procedures, solvents used for the quantitative analysis of substances. 
So there are drying agents, which are of different types. Drying agents broadly classified are into two types, uh, general purpose of drying solvents, drying agents for general purpose of drying of extracts. So uh, we are not concerned with this thing because uh, even after this drying, the uh, solvents usually contain the moisture at uh, a trace level or micro trace level. So when we uh, generally in uh, organic metallic chemistry and organic chemistry, we talk about drying agents. So we means a rigorous drying of a solvent. So for rigorous drying of a solvent means we have to make sure that there must be uh, no, at, uh, no moisture inside the solvent even at a micro trace level. Right, so these are different types of uh, drying agents which are actually used. Lithium aluminum hydride has been uh, blocked in red. Its use is strongly discouraged. Uh, next, this is the, the uh, other uh, drying agents. This continuation of the previous one, phosphorus pentoxide, potassium hydroxide, sodium, metal sodium, sulfate, dry, and hydrous. So these are used, that, that, that is a general assembly for uh, drying of an organic solvent. So inside this boiling class, the drying agent and the solvent to be dry is placed, then it is treated overnight or for a specific given, of, uh, given uh, for a period of time. And then it is placed inside this heating mantle and then it is heated. The vapors goes up inside, travel up upward here is the condenser. All this assemblage is provided with inert gas. There is no inlet or there is no leak to for the uh, moisture or air to be trapped inside. So the uh, uh, condensed vapors come here and they are collected inside this flask. Okay, and it is collected here by means of this tap. Now we move on to the description of this thing. So generally, here is a list of uh, uh, solvents which are usually used uh, during manipulation of air sensitive organometallic compounds. So here is a list. You can see this one is uh, classification of reagents. Uh, uh, reagents are usually uh, classified into uh, four types. Uh, stable non-toxic reagents, usually what you see in your daily life. Stable toxic reagents with unpleasant odor, moisture or air sensitive reagents and pyrophoric substances. So these are the four types of substances which are purified and dried by different techniques. Uh, when uh, we use uh, different techniques for drying uh, reagents, so distillation can be used under inert atmosphere, as we had seen in the previous slides at normal pressure, distillation can be uh, uh, done under reduced pressure and uh, devoid of air, that is the inert atmosphere, purification and drying of solvents, this can be carried out, and then the dealing and the purification of pyrophoric reagents. So these are the different references to be consulted. If you have got any question, please get back to me on my email that is already given over here with your queries. I'll be more than happy to uh, address those. You can uh, connect me by WhatsApp or my mobile number as well. Thank you very much for your time. Allah is.